My name is Megan Hanna and I am a marine biologist for the U.S. Navy and in my off time I run the La Jolla Green Sea Turtle Citizen Science Project. Uh, the La Jolla Shores Green Sea Turtle Citizen Science Program is a public program that's supported by NOAA, uh, which is uh, right here in our backyard at La Jolla Shores, and they were interested in getting to know a little bit more about the green sea, sea turtle population that has recently um, began recruiting to La Jolla Shores. Uh, so currently at the time we have four resident sea turtles, potentially a new fifth uh, that we are trying to keep track of right now. Um, historically, we've seen about nine in the area. A few have been transient, and a few have um, left the area since. But we began seeing them in about 2015. But we've heard news from um, the community that they've been around since as early as 2012. I first started seeing the turtles about five or six years ago. Um, came out with some friends and they had we've heard stories about these mysterious turtles in La Jolla Shores uh, and that's when we first started seeing them in the, the area. Finding turtles in La Jolla Shores is pretty challenging, uh, especially if you're by yourself. Um, usually you want to go with at least one other person just because more eyes means you'll have more chance of seeing them. Uh, they can hide pretty well um, and with our visibility conditions here a lot of times the turtles like to hang out in the murky water areas. I try and limit my time with them just because uh, they have become more popular in the past couple of years and you know trying to limit the amount of time you spend with them helps them be able to rest, be able to eat in peace and also just coming up for air. So the East Pacific green sea turtle population, which is what we believe that these turtles are, uh, are traditionally born in nesting beaches off of um, mainland Mexico and places like Michoacan or sm small islands that are just off the coast. And after about anywhere from three to five years in the neuritic zone, they all make their way um, into new foraging areas, which uh, we believe La Jolla Shores is now a resident foraging area for them. Well, we were working very closely with some photographers, um, snorkelers and divers in the area and in efforts to make them a little bit more easy to uh, talk about and recognize, we did give them some nicknames. Um, we have Boot, Bond, um, Lady White Spot, who no longer has her white spot, um, and we have Tiquito. <laughs> While enjoying the viewing experience with the green sea turtles in La Jolla, it is important to remember that they are an endangered species and we want to do everything that we can to make sure that they don't feel threatened in any way. I think that the sea turtles in this area will hopefully stick around for um, several years to come until they eat, reach the size of uh, sexual maturity, which at that point they will probably return to their nesting beaches and might even come back um, in between seasons.